back to the garage guys. So talking to you about our Tuesday training day. Uh, that happens to be April 27th. Shout out to my mom. It's her birthday. Happy birthday, Joanne. You guys will know her because she's a regular member of our Zoom classes. Almost every day she's there. Very consistent. So hope you're having a great day today. Um, you're probably getting up early. So first part of your day, happy birthday. All right. Um, training day, three parts. Uh, first part, pull up focus. Second part, a pressing focus with some running. And the third part, another press focus with some isometric strength. Let's get right into the strength and skill piece. This is a good one, guys. As we move back in the gym, we want to really start to um, pick up where we left off with a lot of our gymnastics training. So we're going to do a 10-minute alternating EMOM. On the odd minutes, we're going to do three strict pull-ups. On the even minutes, we're going to do six kipping pull-ups, okay? These are most likely C-kip, okay? Just our classic kipping pull-ups. This is strictly around pull-ups. If it were around muscle-up, it would definitely be C-kip because the butterfly doesn't transfer really to that. That being said, it is a pull-up development day, so you can do six uh, chest-to-bar. They should be chest-to-bar, by the way. Um, butterfly pull-ups. If you have those, great. If you don't quite have six of them, I would urge you to do six C-kips, okay? Let's talk about there are two other options. For those of you who don't have one or both of those, on the odd minute, we can do three pull-up negatives, lowering yourself down with control slowly, and then we can do six ring rows, okay? Again, building that pulling strength so that we're eventually able to get to that strict pull-up, which will eventually lead us to that kipping pull-up. Finally, if you don't have um, access to a pull-up bar, on the odd minute, we're gonna do a 30-second hollow hold, so getting down on the floor, getting to that nice hollow position, which carries over into a lot of the pull-up work that we do. And hopefully your hollow position on the floor looks a lot better than mine did standing vertical here. And then the second part would be either six dumbbell bent over rows, staying as level as possible, or six high pulls, and that'd be each arm within that minute period, okay? So uh, five rounds of each, basically, every minute on the minute, alternating between the two movements. All right, that next up is our conditioning workout, and this is basically a press focus. Um, and it's a, via the dumbbell, double dumbbell push jerk, okay? So the workout is 27, 21, 15, 9 double dumbbell push jerks. And after each round there, you're going to run 400. Time targets, guys, for the 400, we want it to be 2 minutes or less. Overall time for this workout is going to be 10 to 15 minutes. People who can run closer to a minute 30 clip, and I would encourage you to kind of move it today because even a minute 30 will give your shoulders a lot of um, rest time. Definitely two minutes will so that you can get through those push jerks in pretty big sets. Um, you'll be closer to the 10 minute mark uh, if, you're, if you're running those minute 30, closer to the 15 minute mark if you're running that uh, two minute split time. Don't go any longer than two minutes. So if you need to cut the distance, after the first couple of rounds, do so. Just run out for uh, 45 seconds, turn around, come back in. Hopefully it's still under two minutes. Let's talk about the push jerks. So push jerks, we want to use a challenging weight today, but it should be a weight that takes absolutely no more than three sets to get through. Two would be ideal. Um, if you go unbroken, especially on 27 and 21, you're probably going a little too light. You should have to put it down one time at the very least, and two times at the very most, okay? So it's kind of a moderate moderate weight. I would definitely classify it as moderate weight. If you can get on your round at 27, you can get 15 and 12, that's pretty moderate. Um, three sets of nine is moderate, heavy, but still not super heavy. It's not maximal heavy, obviously. So stick to the guidelines two or three sets to get through every single round of those push jerks under two minutes for the run and you'll be right in that 10 to 15 minute sweet spot 
All right, last one, we're also going to do some pressing again, and this is not as common for us. We often do the half kneeling, but we're going to do, we're going to build, this is the second part, by the way, I don't know why I always work backwards, but um, we're going to, for the second part of the after party, we're going to build to a moderate set of five uh, kneeling single arm presses, okay? Kneeling is nothing mysterious, okay? It just means instead of half kneeling, you're going to be kneeling. Um, we're going to be in a good strong position when we do this. I like to put the toes down like that to really reinforce that position where we're going to be squeezing those glutes nice and vertical, pressing up like so, okay? You can put the laces down if you want to. It's a little more wobbly, which isn't necessarily the worst thing, but I think in, when it comes to heavy presses, we want to be thinking stable. So squeeze the glutes, ribs down to belly button, Five reps, moderate five. So moderatized classify as work up to where you have seven reps and you do it for five, okay? If you're really feeling great, um, <clears throat> you could do something that you have six and do it for five, but nothing more, no, nothing less than that, okay? So don't do like a five, something that you could just get five on this, okay? That's the second part, and there are no time frames on this. The first part, is gonna be some isometric strength work, okay? We're gonna do three sets. We're gonna do a um, top of the ring support hold for 20 to 30 seconds, and then we'll move to our bar hang or dead hang for 20 to 30 seconds, and then we'll do a glute bridge, okay? I don't need to show a glute bridge. A glute bridge on the floor, um, top position, you can hold the dumbbell on it if you want. Um, for 20 to 30 seconds. So it's each, each of those things, 20 to 30 seconds, three times through, bada bing, bada boom, and then you do what I did, what I explained first, the half, the kneeling, sorry, not half kneeling, moderate five, five rep um, shoulder press, okay? That's our after party, and that concludes our training. Hope to see you guys soon. Out.